Hey guys, welcome to Atari Newsline. This time we're going to talk about Super 3D May 16. Uh, coming to the VCS, the full version is now available. We're going to talk about that and look at a trailer from our good friend uh, KRAZ Productions. Also, Stella, the Atari emulator, has hit version 7.0. There are lots of enhancements in this, of course. I can't wait to talk to you about all kinds of cool stuff. Um, and I was actually surprised. Uh, there's lots of stuff in here that we need to talk about, uh, which is cool. Uh, and finally, uh, Sommer Productions uh, has Microvaders up for sale, a new Lynx game. Also, it's the Lynx's 35th anniversary. Let's talk about that and more next on Atari Newsline. Come on back. <music> Welcome to Atari Newsline, guys. Ballistic Coffee Boy here, your host. So, uh, yeah, so Super 3D May 16 is out right now, the full version. This is the uh, awesome uh, puzzle platformer game. Uh, and uh, this was uh, actually a game that um, I helped out with a little bit. Um, not a whole crazy lot, but helped out a little bit with the story. Um, and this is a, just an awesome game. Um, so... Uh, Super 3D May 16 um, is just a great game, uh, and um, I'm, you know, yeah, sure, it might be a little biased, uh, but it's great. Uh, of course, we had JD Video Games Productions on the channel recently. He did uh, Super Star Shooter 16. This is kind of in that same vein of kind of 16-bit games uh, that kind of air harkens back to the era, at least. Fantastic. So let's take a look at this trailer by our good friend Care AZ Productions that came out today. It's awesome. Here we go. Uh-oh, looks like someone's in trouble with the missus. Mm-hmm. Are you looking for an easy way out? Yes. Then go ahead and dig deep into that laundry basket. Why? Because everyone knows that at the bottom of every clean laundry basket is a magical portal to cyberspace. Really? Of course, I'm a disembodied voice. Why wouldn't you trust me? Well, okay. That a boy, you get in there. <sighs> Welcome to Super 3D Maze 16. Embark on a journey through a mysterious cybernetic maze as you unravel the story of Captain Elias Nova. Look out for enemies and obstacles that are certain to stop you on your journey. Use UFOs to guide your path and find colored keys to unlock different pathways and puzzles. The ever-winding mazes, mysterious entities, lasers and UFOs are abound. Answer many questions like, who is he? What is this place? And why is this guy such a lutz? Super 3D Maze 16. Better than being this guy. Super 3D Maze 16. Available now. Just love that trailer, man. Keep up the good work. You're doing such good work with this stuff. So KRAZ has put out some other trailers too. I think he put out Super 3D Maze 16 as well and, and was been working in the film industry, as many of you know, so pretty cool. Uh, so can't wait to get this. Make sure to go grab it today. It's an awesome game. So next, I want to talk about Stella. This is uh, release 7.0 for Linux, Mac OS, and Windows. And let's go take a look at the web page here. It says October 5th, uh, 2024. So this came out about um, six days ago. It says uh, it includes enhanced ROM launcher to allow multiple images per ROM made heaps of additional images available for the ROM launcher, added searching by file name for ROM launcher images, added option to start random ROM, added automatically enabled phosphor modes, enabled, or, or sorry, enhanced game properties dialog for multi-game ROMs, added second UI theme and hotkey for toggling UI theme, added bezel support included uh, the send in light gun, added Optional type format detection based on colors used. Added Joy 2B Plus controller support. Added auto detection for Quad Terry attached controllers or Quad Tari, sorry. 
Enhance kid vid support to play tape audio. Cool. Add a port selection used for controller default mapping. Add a missing plus ROM support for E7 bank switching. Enhance movie cart MVC support. Accelerated emulation up to 15% uh, ARM. Add a limited game line master module bank switching support. Added 03E0 bank switching for Brazilian Parker Brothers ROMs. Added WF8 bank switching used by some certain Coleco white carts. Added Jane bank switching used by Coleco's Tarzan prototype. Added Elf Mapper for Mattress Monkeys. Added Bus Bank Switching Support for some older demos. Fixed Broken 7800 Pause Key Support. Added Developer Option for Random Hot Speak Peak Values. Added User Defined CPU Cycle Timers to Debugger. Removed Launch EROMs Option since it was causing some issues. And Codebase now uses C20 features, which means a minimum of GCC. Um, dash 11 or Clang dash 10 for Linux, Mac, and Visual Studio 2022 for Windows. Have fun. So, pretty good update, you guys. Let me know what you think about this. Um, I freaking love Stella. Of course, a lot of us have the like Retrons, uh, which use Stella and other platforms too. Stella is amazing. I freaking love Stella. It's great. And that's the emulator that a lot of Atari products use, by the way. So, um, fantastic to see these updates. Let me know what you think down below. It seems like a lot of stuff has been addressed in this update. Maybe these updates should come out some more. That seems like a lot. But uh, let me know what you guys think. It's a fantastic emulator. Go get it today. Um, also, wanted to let you guys know uh, some other cool news here. So, our good friend Songbird Productions has a new game out for the Atari Lynx. It's Micro Vaders. And you can pre-order it right now. As of this recording, there is a standard deluxe and ultimate edition. The standard edition comes with the cartridge box and manual. The deluxe edition is limited to 75 units, includes standard plus custom boot screen, signed box, and digital soundtrack. And the ultimate edition is limited to 25 units, includes deluxe plus serial number and your 12 character name or message on the title screen. There's only four of those left in stock as of this recording, but the deluxe and standard seems like they have plenty in stock. So this is a cool frantic shoot 'em up game. It's got 40 waves of enemies, it says. And uh, this is just great. So um, it says down here, uh, never give up. They overwhelmed our remote outpost. Now the fight is at our doorstep. You are a last chance for survival. Can you? Can your squadron turn back the alien horde? Microvaders is an adrenaline-fueled shooter featuring all new enemies, power-ups, in-game music, and more. Fight for victory and achieve your destiny as an ace pilot. Never surrender. There are three editions available as of October 7th, and we talked about these just now, guys. And there is a little video here, um, a gameplay teaser from YouTube. Let's take a look at this awesome game. Here we go. Wow, that's pretty cool, guys. So I wanted to let you know, full disclosure, uh, Songbird actually sent me a ROM of this game to play on my on my Lynx, and I'm going to do that on my Lynx game cart. I'm going to play this and review it on the channel soon. I've been a little busy this week, so I didn't get to it um, on the launch week, but it'll be coming in the next few days, I hope. I'm going to work on it this weekend. So stay tuned for that. It's a great game. I can tell you that right now. You don't want to miss out. I also just wanted to mention, guys, uh, John Hancock mentioned this recently. Uh, today or this weekend anyway, marks the 35th anniversary of the Atari Lynx. And uh, it's one of my favorite uh, consoles. It's awesome. It is uh, basically Atari's portable handheld from back in the day, from uh, from the 90s. Um, fantastic system. So 35 years. Wow. I didn't even, I mean, I heard it existed back then. I was a Nintendo kid, as you know. 
um, a Nintendo fanboy for a long time, but I love the Lynx. One of the reasons is Mark Little's Lynx Handicast. Definitely check that out if you're into the Lynx. You'll want to get into it. This is the Lynx 2.0 with with a Mick uh, Will modded screen. Fantastic system. So many favorites on this. Zarlor Mercenary, Clax, Row Blasters. The list goes on. There's some fantastic games on it. And there's still games being made, such as uh, Super Asteroids and Missile Command by Songbird, which came out, which I purchased. Fantastic game. Also check out Microvaders, of course. The Lynx um, definitely is a huge part of Atari history. I love it, and it's so underrated. Check it out. And happy birthday, Lynx. We love you. Check out Mark Little's Handicast, too, if you have not. All right, guys. So just a little bit to, here towards the end before I get to my final thoughts. Um, so I've been talking to a couple of people. No promises, but I'm talking to 7 of 7, the Atari content creator. We might do an episode soon for that Atari show. That's kind of been, still being worked out, so that's cool. I've also invited Somber Productions on the show to talk about Microvaders and other games and the conventions he's gone to. The guy's had a great year. Um, I'm really jealous all the cons he gets to go to. It's just amazing. So thank you so much, Somber, for all you do. I cannot wait to review this game uh it's in process so um, i've also been talking to some other people i've been talking to rob or i'm sorry bob de crescenzo about maybe coming back on the channel talking about crystal quest uh, bentley bears crystal quest his homebrew on the the newly coming 7800 plus can't wait for that so lots of cool stuff in the ether that might, may or may not happen i hope it does but anyway let me know what you think you guys have you played atari today Awesome, guys. Let me know what you think about this this awesome game on the VCS, Super uh, Maze uh, 16. I, it just looks amazing. Uh, so I cannot wait to play this full game. I, I played it in beta, but I can't wait to play this completed version of, uh, of this game. It looks so cool. Um, also, make sure to let me know what you think about Somber Productions game, Microvaders. Are you going to bite on that? It looks really good. Um, I'd love to hear it. And Stella 7.0. Let me know what you think about that. Do they have the enhancements you wanted? Is there more that you would like fixed in that or addressed? Let me know because I have no clue. I use it and it works fine. So let me know what you think. And about the future guests. And also, if you have a guest you'd like me to interview on that Atari show or the channel, make sure to email me at atarinewsline at All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Be a good person. Get your Java. Have a good weekend. And go play some freaking Atari. We'll see you next time, guys. Bye now. Oh, wait, I have played that. I think it was in the Atari vault. <clears throat> Before we continue, guys, let's go ahead and take a quick look.
You are, you are watching, watching Ballistic, Ballistic Coffee, Coffee Boy. Boy.